Welcome or uh, welcome back at C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're gonna rotate some polygons around their centers, and we're gonna try to find the angle or the angles uh, for which those polygons map onto themselves. And the first polygon you see is a, a polygon of three sides. This one, a triangle, an equilateral triangle. In fact, right, this is a regular polygon of three sides. And I'm going to start rotating and I want to see when this point A, for example, is going to map on top of point B. And I'm going to lose this slide. And if you notice, once I get to 120, point A is right here. Uh, so it moved. Point B moved here and see, uh, replace A. And so that is one way to rotate this polygon to be on top of itself. But I can keep doing the same thing. And you notice whenever I go to 240, uh, now that point that was, if you remember here, left down, it's up here. And uh, you know, this polygon map onto itself. And we have one more choice, which is 360. In this moment, point A is back to its original position. And if you notice, this was a, a counterclockwise rotation. We can rotate it clockwise also and we get the same situation and you can rotate more than 360 by the way degrees in case you want to and you can map the polygon onto itself if you notice i have here these kind of nodes in case you need them central angle the, this is the angle created by the center of the polygon with any of these vertices of the uh, polygon so in this for example for instance this angle that i'm uh, mapping with my mouse is 120 degree and that is the center angle that is one way to rotate this triangle to map onto itself and 240 if you remember and 360 clockwise and counterclockwise i'm going to uncheck this and go to the next polygon which is a regular polygon of four sides uh, which if you call it square that is correct and um, we're looking here and we uh, notice that the first time when the polygon map onto itself is 90 degree. Why 90 degree? Because we have 360 degree divided by four sides. That is 90 degree. That's the first time when the polygon map onto itself. And then we're going to notice the next time will be 180. A multiple of 90 degree. Then 270. And the last one, 360. Well, again, don't forget, we can get a multiple of 90 if we go over 360 also. Um, so these are the choices for rotating this polygon of four sides. And again, you see the same pattern, central angle, 90 degree. And then we have the multiple of 90 degrees, uh, the possible angles of rotation to map on this uh, polygon of four sides, the square. And I have a last example, which is a hexagon, a polygon of six sides. And by now, uh, we can do some math, 360 divided by six sides, right? That would be 60 degree. The central angle is 60 degree. So any multiple of 60 degree will be a good angle to rotate this polygon around its center to map onto itself. Let's check that. Oh, 60 degree, first angle. Oops. 120, the second choice. 180, 240, uh, 300. And uh, the last one on one full rotation is 360 bow again. You can rotate more than 360 and you can get on top of this polygon. Um, and like I said, we you can rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. And uh, you'll be on top of this polygon. If you need to go back on the first slide, you click here and you can uh, um, use the app again the link of this app is uh, down in the description if you enjoyed this video clip and the app don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you